As I reported back in June, island residents who live along the canals had severe erosion of their bulkheads due to Tropical Storm Alberto. I'm Erin Holly, your Padre Island Neighborhood News reporter. And these residents who live along the canals tell me they think this dam behind me is helping. If we still had that heavy current and we got the heavy rain, uh, I would have some concern about how much more uh, giving away on this bulkhead we would have. Foundation of the bulkheads along the island canals has been a source of concern for island residents since Tropical Storm Alberto hit the area back in June. You know, when we had Alberto here, that canal was open and that water was flowing through here, rising, dropping uh, very rapidly. Uh, it, it looked like you were on a river. After properties were damaged and eroded by fast moving water from Alberto, a dam was built to slow the flow. Ahead of Francine, Islanders were concerned about the dam's strength. The main hazards are going to be the dangerous marine. So you're going to have your high risk of rip current, elevated seas, and with the elevated seas and the long period swells, we're going to have coastal flooding to be a concern. While the coastal bend has been spared a direct hit from Francine, the storm is still stirring up the Gulf waters. We can definitely see dune erosion in the um, on the Gulf facing beaches. And once we once you get the elevated water levels, it's very possible it could be, it could push up the canals. So they may they may see some impacts. Where we're at, you know, it, it might go up a, another six inches or something. I would be really surprised for it to go up two more feet like it did last time. Neighbors say so far so good with the new dam. It's been good because it's protected us from some pretty strong tides that we've had and given everybody a chance to make repairs that are needed. We'll see over the next 24 hours or so if this dam does the job it was intended to do. On Padre Island, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Aaron Holly, Chris 6 News.